there welcome i'm bell and today i'm gonna be giving you guys a step by step on how to start private lessons so whether you are a teacher who teaches like a big group in an english course or in a regular school this video is for you or if you are a teacher and you have absolutely no experience teaching and you are thinking about teaching private classes this video is also for you but before we do that please make sure to subscribe to my channel i put a new video every single friday also don't forget to follow me on all my social medias the link will be in the description down below and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and leave in the comments below if you like the video or not or the kinds of videos that you guys want me to do next and yeah without further ado let's go right into the video <music> first thing that I want to talk about, which is actually one of the things that I get asked the most, not only here, but also on my Instagram. By the way, if you don't follow me on my Instagram, please make sure to do that because I post there every single day about education and everything else. So whether you are a teacher or a student, follow me there because you won't regret it. Um, but you know, I digress. <laughs> um, one of the questions that I get asked the most is how do i produce material for private lessons like what kind of material do i use do i use a book do i use like do i create my own material and so this is the first thing that i just want to you know get out of the way because when it comes to material you need to keep in mind that we have internet nowadays <laughs> so with the internet you can definitely create your own material but also if you don't want to do that there is a lot of other ways to collect material for your classes one of the websites that i use the most and it's it's probably the one that i use the most and it's also like my all-time favorite website is british council i will leave the link in the description down below because it is just an amazing website it's just really good but um if you don't want to do that you can also follow your own plan because you know with british council even though it's really good it doesn't follow a path so for example if i have a student that is a beginner i'm not going to use british council because it's definitely for more advanced students of course you can um use one or two activities from there for beginners um, like listening activities and reading activities or even like speaking activities it's really really good but not plan um, your entire lesson around that I don't think it's like the best one for beginners but if you have pre-intermediate intermediate or advanced students I absolutely love British Council it's so 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 good and it has many amazing activities and there is also British Council for kids which is great as well there is um, also a part for teens which is also a great great um, website and it's um, very age appropriate which is also really good um, but you know after you find a website or a book if you decide to use a book after you do that, I highly recommend that you guys have a range of multi-level activities. Multi-level activities are activities that you can use for every single age group and for every single level and you can adapt and change those activities. I think I have a video on multi-level activities. Actually, I think I have more than one. I probably have like plenty of videos on multi-level activities. And if that's not enough, I also have a lot of multi-level activities on my course, video material. The link will also be in the description down below. So make sure you check it out because you will definitely have you know a lot of activities if you do that course but anyways um do invest on those activities and also if you teach young learners for every single age group have a different routine but have the routine in mind have the rules in mind um again i talk a lot about it on my course so if you want um to access those resources 
again the link is in the description down below it's still on the topic of material how you're gonna teach your class is definitely something you will decide because it's a hundred percent on you and you know how you feel comfortable doing it because some people like to use like powerpoint presentations other people like to use some softwares other people don't like to use computers at all so it's definitely up to you so don't pressure yourself into doing something that you don't feel comfortable with so if you don't like computers okay don't use that i do think computers you know it's a great way i do use a program a software that's called active inspire and i really love that and it has so many resources so i highly recommend that you guys download that and give it a try even though this is not sponsored <laughs> um so now that we talked about material now let's go to the next topic which is something that i'm sure a lot of people have many concerns with and it is the location so when it comes to the location I'm not gonna spend like too much time talking about it because it's a simple topic and I know that a lot of people think how am I gonna teach students like without a classroom how am I gonna do that and I'm here to tell you that it is completely possible for example if a student wants private lessons and the student wants you to go to their house go it's fine and I mean as long as you know the student and you know it's completely safe I've been doing this for like a year and a half now a little bit over a year and a half now like going to students houses and it's been working a lot because you know over a year and a half ago i decided to really invest on private lessons and it's been working a lot it's addicting i'm just gonna tell you guys this it is addicting when you see you will have absolutely no time to breathe <laughs> because it is addicting so if the student wants you to go to their house and you're like oh my god i'm not gonna ha have like enough resources plan the class thinking that you're gonna go to their house like think i'm gonna go there why do i need do i need like extra activities do i need because you know since you're not in a school you there's no way that you can like print out an activity you know in the last minute there's no way that you can do that in your student's house so plan have a plan be a plan c a plan d <laughs> so that you can teach your students a great lesson if you have a space for a private lesson like in another place invite your students to go there and there you can have like a board or you know things that can help you like extra resources that can help you teach a great class but if you don't there's no pressure there's absolutely no pressure and um i highly recommend that you take a chance on that and you know when you see you will be absolutely addicted to it but also i just want to say that if you go to a student's house make sure that you charge them appropriately because if you're going there you have to pay for gas or an uber driver or you know there's a lot of things you are using you are using the time uh, you are using like extra time to go and to come back home so all this needs to be added to the cost of your class so make sure that you charge your student appropriately do not feel bad for charging your students what you know that you're worth you know that you're a good teacher so make sure that you charge them appropriately you know value your own work that everybody does that why can't teachers do that we can we have to do it it's our job it's our livelihood just do it just trust me please and do it so last topic that i want to talk about is the student oh my god isabel i'm just starting out now how am i gonna get students when i started i had one student one single student but this student had a wife and his wife had a friend and this friend had someone that she talked to and she said okay um my friend's friend has english class with you so i would like to have class with you too and then at the same time 
there was a person who, who had cl uh, class with me in my old job like a hundred years ago and she was like okay do you teach private classes i would love to have class with you and then we started having classes and then another foreign student sent me a message and was like okay my daughter wants um to have private classes now can you come here and teach her and then this daughter had a friend from school who also wanted to have private classes and then before you realize you'll have a waiting list with 50 students waiting for you <laughs> so i'm not kidding this is true and this is actually what happened i'm not lying i'm telling you facts so don't worry too much about finding students worry about teaching them in the best way possible teaching them in a way that you're comfortable with in a way that is efficient in a way that they enjoy because enjoyment is also positive and english they already have so many occupations so many responsibilities english is supposed to be enjoyable so teach them in a way that they will enjoy and also um on that note i also want to say that some people learn differently and nobody is the same you know people are different and when i started teaching private lessons like 101 lessons that's when i noticed for the first time how different people can be and that's okay that's fine so don't worry too much about you know following the same model for every single student because some students learn differently and that's okay it's something that definitely took me a little while to um, see and it took me some time to open my mind and realize that people are different and there is nothing wrong to adapt a class according to the students so that's what i want you to have in mind sometimes you have two students that are on the same level but they have two completely different classes and also this is my last advice listen to your students if your student wants to do oh today i just want to you know read this book can you help me with this book okay listen to your students you know that's the way that they will learn they will learn because they are happy and they feel like they are contributing to the class and they are <laughs> so listen to them imagine try to remember yourself like a few years ago when you you were studying wouldn't you like to be heard because you know it's something that i would <laughs> so i try to listen to my students as much as possible so this is my advice for you i hope that you guys like this video again don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications click the bell comment uh, leave a comment and also follow me on all my social media especially on instagram because i post there every single day and check out my course with the material if you are a teacher because i know that you will learn a lot of activities a lot of resources if you just check it out so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next friday for a brand new video bye